So just go through and write your assignment, start your assignment, yes? Yes. And um and just send me after writing, like you know, hello one, hello two, hello three. Yeah. I'll give you feedback, and after feedback, you know, if anything we need to amend, so we'll carry on, you know, improving assignments. So please. Yeah. So, nice. do you know how to reference your assignment? Uh, no. Okay, I'm not sure. Any lesson you have, you know, with Ramana or someone else regarding how to do reference, Harvard reference style, which normally we use in assignments? Yeah, I was I was meant to have a lesson um about how to do the assignments, but um I was never given a date on when I was gonna have like a tutorial on how to write assignments and reference and stuff. Okay, no problem. I I'll go through with you a bit, you know, so I'll explain you. Okay, thank you. So, like, you know, I suggest I'm giving you a bit, you know, demonstration, like when you... Yeah. So... Hey, it's like a French cover, which is a French yeah. sheet. You can mm, just write assignment on. We are doing like we did the unit three. Yes. Accounting and principal and uh, accounting and finance. So then okay. put your things. Yes. Then second page, we can prepare the table of contents. Okay. So we can divide our assignment into tasks like you know LO1 could be task 1.1, 1, 1.2, 1, 1. 1.3. Okay, yes. Yeah. And LO2 could be task 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. 2. 2. 2. Exactly, yeah. you can divide your discussion. Okay, yeah. And you can draw the conclusion where you can write, you know. Okay, I'll show you how we can. Before starting assignment, it's, it's good to be give a bit, you know, background, a bit introduction. Like yeah. accounting and finance, our role of accounting and finance in hospitality industry, like other industry or uh, service or marketing organizations. Yeah. And then you carry on doing a bit introduction and then you can say in your assignment you will discuss or you will explore or you will define or you will explain yes yeah? some, yeah. some sort of discussion and then you can start your assignment and you need to do reference you know okay uh, yeah like, you know a couple of general article we have used uh we can recommend some books some books we can use as well yeah so some recommended books you know which is the list of the books is given within the brief and yeah. this, so like when you're doing your assignment of course your unit is a different which is accounting and finance yes yeah. so we can open accounting and finance brief which is here Okay, so we have three tasks, sorry, four tasks we're supposed to do. LO1, yeah. LO2, LO3, LO4. Yeah. Then we have first, you know, clarify the purpose of accounting and finance in the context of a tourism or the hospitality industry or a hospitality okay. organization. So we can discuss. Okay. Where yeah. We can say, of course, you know, what is the purpose of is a systematically regard in the book of accounts yes yes and this provide the information if we don't have and we prepare the financial statement like we discussed four types of and those you know provide the information to our internal and external user internal could be implies and management and external which we discussed you know the shareholder and those hmrc 
yeah. various yeah. other you know the stakeholder they can use financial information to make a decision either to invest or not so that's the purpose of accounting and the finance is provide and we use our resources effectively and we'll get the maximum output question you know could be there yeah. okay getting the definition of accounting and finance what is it and uh, you can find any accounting book which is some some books are recommending are recommended here like you know we discuss basic management accounting for the hospitality industry so you can now we have this is one of the reference like you know yes author's yeah. name here the, the first name anish her name so this we can do reference as well there are different ways to do reference you can use this reference within your assignment suppose you will be writing new assignment yeah so new first is your cover page second would be title third we can say task one we can divide discussion in 1.1 1 1.2 1 1.3 okay easy. Yeah. easy if you're due to any reason if you're not meeting or not you know address 1.1 so you just need to add 1.1 in more information to address and meet the learning outcomes okay uh, yep sure criteria so now when you're writing about accounting it means um, meant by ethically record of business transactions in the book of accounts something okay yeah of course so now we need to put the reference so at the end of the sentence if i'm getting same information as it is it's better to be you can write uh like inverted thermal there yes mm -hmm, yeah because it's a direct quote we are using as it is you know definition if you get it from the book as it is you're not changing your own words i'm using yeah. One thing I can write according to first pose, uh, according to John. Yes, and yeah. then we should have a year of the public this book, you know, when the book was published. So we okay. can enter the pub publication as well. Again, yeah. our second way, otherwise, we can if you go here under the reference yeah you see at the top is given you the stuff and we we can change the style to harvard reference style okay yeah there's a drop box there and uh, insert citation mean you're adding the reference at the list of references so if okay. i'm using if i'm using book so i can pick you know the section here the book yeah and always within a book we have author's name yeah like, um using m okay oh i'm just putting so title of the book is basic management accounting That's other way to eat make the list of the reference industry and this book was published in t10 and if we know where this book was published or the publisher yeah let's see i'm putting for argument green publisher first four and the city was london where it was published and always inside the book is written addition one or two or whatever okay yep. yeah i think is written you can put you know the addition one when you click there yeah and wherever your cursor will be your reference will drop yes like okay, i can yeah. drop at the end of the sentence 
if I'll click there, it will be dropped there. Okay, yeah, sure. So if I'm using website, first of all, sometimes we use website, first of all, um, I'm using website tutor, hand, uh, tutor to you, which is normally we, people use for A levels, you know, the, this is quite yeah. good website. Uh, tutor to you.net. I suppose you're finding something from tutor to you. And I'm. Um, net something I'm using for accounting, I suppose. So if I go the accounting concept, yes. Yes. So I'm writing something, you know background accounting what is about yes yes the value uh, yes we discuss about accounting uh any other definition you want to find from these websites or various other websites as well normally we use academic website not you know like um, essay writing or wikipedia so better yes. to not use you know the wikipedia because of course, you know, we can't trust on those website. Wikipedia is not a trusted website. Okay, yeah. So if I'm using these sort of websites, or we can use ACCA or various other, you know, awarding bodies website. Yeah. Quite good enough you know, for accounting and finance. Of course, this is website is all about accounting. Okay, yeah. And uh, first of all, you you learn about accounting, the process of identifying, yes. Yes. So that's really, you know, what is the purpose of accounting? So if I'm using this, I suppose, either I can be and put it in my actual slide that I can rewrite in my own words. I, I, so yeah. I, yes, so I can copy yeah. this, I can later on delete. Um, we can write it accounting is the process of identifying yes maybe yeah. so i get it this from so when you write it in your own words you can uh, rephrase a resentence you know yeah. sort of, <clears throat> this accounting provides the information um, to a stakeholder it could be internal external some sort of discussion and then when you need to do reference really this website as well now yeah. and delete i wrote this a bit so click again insert citation and this time we use website so you can change from these drop boxes and you can put you know the website there okay yeah you can put in the url is mean the full link and the website is Tutor to you dot net. <clears throat> and if we know the author's name there, uh, if we don't know, if any article normally inside article always written, you know, who wrote it? Yeah. And uh, otherwise, you know, we simply can put. Uh, here as author because this website published tutor to you yes and yeah. uh, we don't know which year they actually wrote this thing and definition we can put it front here okay so, yeah uh, which year we are retrieve this website so today always is better to be great we can put it Okay, okay. Yeah. and now my website this will be referenced now excellent so <clears throat> we'll carry on doing reference 
So when yeah. you finish your assignment, yeah, uh, we can before that we can conclude. You know, really what we learned are we found. You know, the accounting play a key role in hospitality industry. If we don't have a keeping we card, you know, it's a legal as well as a control purposes. We must need to be keep you know up to date information and yeah. uh, in terms of budgeting and things. You know, so we can include or we can conclude there. And when yeah. you finish your assignment and reference click there it's called bibliography or reference yeah. you know what is the difference between bibliography and reference no within your website still you can reference because you read them yeah but the reference is mean you directly you have used that's only two terminologies difference okay yeah so when you click there, all your references, those you gave within your assignment, it's come yep. alphabetical sequence. Okay, yeah. It will cross reference. You will see there. We put it the web uh, website name tutor to you net 2017. And now yep. what if 2017 is a full link there. If somebody want to read it further, <clears throat> and uh, if we not put the access date, maybe this website will remove from search engine so people will say oh come on where you found this information the argument where this came from yeah so we have yeah. a background as well so that's why we are putting the date you know access or retrieve date and now is like a moon 2010 what is meant by so moon c 2010 is a basic uh accounting yes yeah so hospitality second edition being published in published by green publisher so now is alphabetical sequence are all if you're using like you have used same reference in task one and task two but suppose you're using same book you know for task two as well yeah so at least you know we need good you know 10 15 friends so we can look if you're using same book click there and click you know again this moon yeah this reference will carry on dropping. Got you. So you don't need to. So now, like we did task one, and task one we can put it as a heading as well. Like okay. you know, when you go home and click, you know, this yes heading yeah. one, and let's see uh, if you want to make heading two something yes. Yeah. Like I want to discuss about accounting definition, adding two for school under task one. So I yeah. can put adding two. Yes. Yeah. Uh, heading on giving headings like heading task two is the heading one. Two point one is I can give and conclusion I can put you know heading one as well. When okay. I'll when I'll finish the first page of course is a title. Yeah. The second page I can make. I'll move this there and now yeah. second page I can put you know the table of content mm -hmm. or the content page is good good ready practice to do so click yeah. under reference and the left hand side you will see the table of content okay yeah so whatever or whichever layout you really like you know the layout really you want or uh, you want to use it just click you know table of content you click there and yeah. that's your table of contents is ready. You see there, okay. I put it there, task one. Yeah. And I heading two is goes a bit, you know, on the right hand side. Okay, yeah. So it's this way, you know. If you want to add more heading, just click, you know, update page, entire yeah. table. It will carry on, you know, updating. So you can add more heading, you can some sort of you know diagrams or the company's financial statement as well like okay. you know you can take the screen print first for the let's see i took as a screen print this yes yeah I, uh, take the screen print i can go uh, in pen which normally we use to use when we use to draw pictures okay control v the screen print and you want to cut this picture yeah. yes and this you want to use it as a picture you know and you want to 
referencing in your within your assignment but suppose you know sometimes we are using contents table or figures list of figures so just copy there yeah yes like i copied I, as it is yeah so if you right click there it give you option inside caption okay. caption means this is my figure one and yeah. this figure one is about i suppose accounting and finance yes yeah. or could be profit and loss account and uh, just click okay and now i can use you know as a bow figure indicate i as a bow figure shows so in my discussion i can reference you know this figure is all about yes okay, and this yeah. figure is indicate you know so in my explanation i can go back and where this came from the website name which is i can put you know the tutor to you dot net yes i can reference yeah. as well so <clears throat> i'll carry on giving the figure at the end you know when i'll finish if you want to be under the table of content if you look, look there yeah under reference page uh, there is a insert list of tables or figures so you can click there click okay it will create your list of figures as well okay so like you know table of contents and the list of figures are list of tables you know for suppose or list of appendixes because these are the not big big assignments so we just list of figures and table of content will be enough is there like a maximum word count uh try to be around two and a half thousand two and a half okay because 10 percent more or 10 percent less is quite acceptable okay so yeah. because it's a level four course so at this level we expect you know the reference we yeah. expect around you know two and a half thousand words okay yeah that's fine because it's a level five around three thousand plus and depends you know it's a 20 credit unit as well so around you know because only one assessment yeah no problem question i don't think i have any at the moment i think that makes sense that's really helped is there like any um example assignments i could be sent just so i can see like the layout and things that they use oh uh, no problem what we'll do i'll ask raman to send you one or two samples you know perfect that'd be really handy so like you know a bit you know give rough sketch yes that will help you yes. to be structured your own assignment because okay. if you're doing first time so sometimes it's a bit you know hard out now maybe we can structure and improve our assignment so okay. the way you know can you just start you know writing your assignments yes yeah and just write about accounting finance like you know definitions and things yeah and uh, you can reference book you know and if you look each learning outcome almost we cover everything okay yeah do, so um this, when i when i finish my draft do i email it to you or do i send it um yeah. on my Moodle account no problem no you can send me first what yeah. i'll do i'll give you the feedback okay and then we'll be moving if anything need to improve to address the learning outcome we can okay yeah no problem uh okay let's we'll move to i'm not sure when Anne will join she's not joining today <clears throat> okay so today we are going to start a new unit yes which is we're looking uh, unit two yes is about marketing yes Quick, you know, I'll show you the contents of the unit first before starting our lesson. So I'll carry on sending all handouts and recording. Plus, I'll try to upload, you know, all on Moodle as well. So now you will find you know, all there as well. Thank you. Okay, so we are doing unit two, service marketing. Mm -hmm. And the customer service. 
Yes. So this unit is quite important in terms of, you know, to customer service, service marketing. Service marketing, we because of course we are doing a quality level four, that's we are dealing more with the service organizations. Yes. Like, you know, you're working in the university, so which is normally you're dealing with the clients, you know, you're not selling a particular product. Yes. More services instead of any particular art, tangible product, you know, you're not, we're not selling. So mm -hmm. the criteria is only pass and fail uh, of this unit. Yes. So uh, we need to discuss about, describe the role of marketing in a tourism and hospitality industry, which we'll go through. Yes. Uh, summary or uh, summarize the service marketing approach in tourism and hospitality industry. Classify yes. the service marketing activities of tourism and hospitality businesses, which we'll go through. Uh, and media, how social media can play role within service industry, like other industries. Go through initial concept is a marketing mix, which is a four P's we use to call product yes. price promotion but for that four p uh, for the new new scholars it said no we don't need to focus on four p we need to focus on the ninth p nine p or seven p's now so it's an okay. extended version of uh, which we'll go through and we'll go through some behavior consumer behavior theory in the following lesson we'll discuss about the trend in the consumer behavior how the people are moving what the behaviors change or the shift, you know, like, you know, the pound value drop, how the people not, you know, using more within a country are not traveling abroad, how the yeah. you know, different, uh, the consumer behavior due to the financial constraint is changed, which we'll go through and assess the relationship between the customer service uh, and the business performance. Of course, you know, customer service, uh, could impact you know on the overall the performance of the businesses so cust good customer service so we say customer is a king and we need to keep you know customer happy so we yeah. need to on the objection handling and the customer service and the customer feedback and those sort of things you know and these these are the key topics which we're supposed to cover marketing hospitality industries marketing research you know what research indicate uh, consumer behavior segment, you know, how we can segment and target our customers in the service industry as well in the marketing. So this will go through and we'll go through nine P's and various other, you know, the concept within a marketing industry. So all yeah. really we need to cover. I'm going to send you one book as well. Uh, okay. Marketing and couple of all these books are recommended, which you can get from your own library of well. yeah. And uh, plus, you know, we'll send you some general articles to read as well. Those will help us to be clear our concept. So, like uh, current issues in a tourism industry, like you yeah. know, people book holiday, but actually being told, you know, a hotel will be five star, but actually was not, you know, when they when their other issues, securities, are health and safety issues. So we need to be look around how we can manage, you know, these things, you know, how we can build the trust of the uh, our user or the customer. So we need yeah. to be focused on these sort of the issues, which will go through some journal articles as well. So today, first lesson, I'll we'll go through very basic today, and the okay. next following lesson will go through for the you know uh, so let's we'll start okay so first you know as a marketing student we need to be clear about what is the difference between marketing and selling concepts yeah then we'll discuss about uh, environmental analysis how we can internal and external environment, what those type of environment normally we face in a business. And as a marketer, why we need to be analyzed our analysis environment. And we'll go through the marketing mix, which is initial concept, four P's, seven P's and nine P's. Okay, and yeah. then we'll go through internal and external environment, SWOT analysis, which is strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat in a business. Why we need to be look around because that's quite crucial in hospitality industry as well, any other industry. So then we'll go through the one model is called BCG metric, which is given by the Boston Consultant Group metric. 
So these concepts we can use within our assignment as well, and we can explain them. Okay. By looking at our learning outcome. So what we know about marketing, what is meant by marketing? Um, is it the promotion or selling of a service or product um, to a customer? So it could be we're advertising a hotel room and we're marketing it, marketing it to different types of people. So it could be um, we're selling hotel rooms for half price that could be marketed to more people that might not be able to afford it um, otherwise and we're advertising it out to them to promote the service we're offering. Brilliant, that's fine, yes. Marketing, uh, yes, of course, is, uh, you know, the promotion, but a lot of people, they uh, think about marketing is just mean the selling things, you know, to the customer. But actually, yeah. marketing concept is quite broad. Okay, yeah. So, uh, marketing, what, first of all, is good to know what is the difference between marketing and selling. And the market, market consists of all the people or the organization who desire a good or the service, have a sufficient resource to make a purchase, or yeah. willing and able to buy. Market. And marketing as a system of activity designed to plan, price, promote, distribute products and services which satisfy. So key element in the marketing concept is a satisfy needs and wants of the consumer. So if we're not satisfying needs and wants of the consumer, we're just selling it, it's come under selling concept. Come on, buy this product, this will suit you without exploring that customer is need this product or not. What sort of the needs and the wants of the customer? Like, you know, maybe we're using just phone to make a call. Yeah. When we are going in the car phone warehouse, maybe sale advisor saying, come on, this phone is really good, the latest phone, this give you battery time, this and that. And now, not asking the right question on what purchases or what basis and how often you use mobile and where you use mobile. Yes, use for the internet or you do for what, uh, what sort of your nature of the job, you know. To explore about the needs and wants and they then recommend the right product to the customer. So we don't need to be, so then we can satisfy needs and wants okay. otherwise we can't satisfy the needs and wants yeah marketing job is to satisfy the needs and wants so okay. we need a, we need to plan for it the price will sell the price will charge the product yeah. will sell on certain prices and how we can promote yes how we can distribute so it's yeah. all come all everything all the plans is come under marketing okay. so in a broad sense and this and management and the satisfaction of the demand through the exchange process is called the marketing mm -hmm. exchange yes so we yes. can exchange you know buying and selling if somebody is paying money and somebody is giving exchanging product okay so next is there are the various definitions we can yes. go but key element and the key focus in the marketing is the satisfying the needs and the wants of the consumer yeah. Are the customer. Uh, other is quite popular book if you really really want to be and you quite you know it's quite good subject to read really. Is okay. Philip Scotler, one of the great author and is also known as the father of marketing. He wrote many books. He used to be teach in Harvard Business School as well as in a Bradford University and various other places. And he gave you know definition. Marketing is a process of planning and exchanging. So, which is key focus on pricing, promotion, distribution, ideas, goods, and services, and create exchange that satisfy the individual and the organization goal. Individual and organization goals. Organization goals to be maximize our profit. Normally, we're not putting in our mission statement. Our behind objective is every organization looking, satisfying the needs and wants of the customer, but making profit as well. Yeah. So then other is focus, okay. So selling refer to the effort to persuade, come on, this product is really to you. We are offering a discount today, yes? It's a yeah. half drop. 
maybe people don't know needed these product like you know the new year and the boxing day shopping a lot yes. of us you know we'll buy the product even we don't need it because yes. we just focus on the price and that's yes. the most selling techniques for the short period of time you significantly drop the price yes yes without exploring you know the needs and the wants of the customer and that's okay. a purely selling yes persuade yes. them is a empty like um exposed direct many year they have a sales uh, promotion always 70% drop the price yes that's more selling concept instead of they are paying less salary to their staff they are you know many other problems so we need to be look around these as a organization as a marketing effort to be satisfy everyone <clears throat> so the benefit of marketing the sale sale orientation approach is normally short period of time but the marketing yeah. orientation approach is long term we not okay. focus on the short term we looking the long term basis you know to satisfy the we not looking to make the profit we are looking to long term satisfy the customer and yeah. retain the customer that's really our focus and uh, the core concept of marketing we looking needs and wants we looking the what sort of the product we are focusing how we can create the value for customer we yeah. and our uh, transaction and we develop the relationship with the customers and this is a marketing concept you know which we need to be focus and then next yeah. we are looking every business face two types of environment one is called internal and one is called external environment internal mm -hmm. mean within organization the policies procedures and yeah. so called the micro environment micro means small and the environment yeah. in our organization that is called so always we need to match with the external environment external is called a macro environment yeah the complex you know like a brexit we can't control it it's not thing as a individual organization we could influence but we have to adjust our operation our activities according to the brexit okay yeah so we need to plan in you know. so we can focus key elements or the key environments really is we do pest analysis pest is stand for political economic yeah. social and technological environment and when we looking under these environments so we yeah. need to <clears throat> when we looking at planning a hospitality industry and role of marketing in a hospitality industry so we need to yeah. look around the political political stability in a country we need to look around policies within a country <clears throat> we need to look around the forthcoming legislation like you know we are embedding eu legislation within yeah. our how these yeah. will impact you know on the customer as well as all operation employment law like you know flexible working hours and various thing dominant political ideology different parties different political ideology so we need to look around those as well yeah so <clears throat> economics then we looking the inflation rate exchange rates how much inflation rate we have um i'm not sure uh, last week was on the news our inflation is around 3.1 now okay which is a target to be supposed to be less than 2 okay yeah that's why that's why the base rate do we know the base rate what is the base rate no i don't know what that is base rate mean the basic interest rate of the central bank yeah. it's been increased from quarter cent to 0.5 now after yeah when the base rate increase is everything increase the prices increase like a mortgage increase so we need to look around those because to satisfy the needs and the wants of the customer we need to look around the external well and we need to make the product those will meet the needs and the wants of the customer otherwise we not meeting the needs and the wants of the customer yeah so then we looking the exchange rate yeah if we are dealing with different sort of the clients you know of course as hospitality don't have a boundaries now people are yeah. coming throughout the world so we need to be focus on the exchange rate to meet you know we need to design a packages those will meet them their needs and wants yeah taxation 
uh, unemployment rate within a country or uh, is it how much unemployment rate we have now um is i'm not too sure is it around 20 percent? no 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 we you when the conservative it took the power there was around 6.5 uh, unemployment rate now we have only four four percent four point five percent in unemployment oh okay but uh, the, uh, they consider even you're working one hour is mean you are employed right okay so a lot of people like you know doing apprenticeships doing you know the short jobs you know like five hours a week or two hours a week or yeah sort of you know so still is a cluster as an employee okay yeah so so social factor where we're looking the education level within a country living condition like you know a lot of discussion the inflation and the pay rise you know seven pound 20 are basic pay rate we yeah. have there is a people are can't afford it to live on the base pay lay pay yeah. the reason is because the inflation is a 3.1 and the pay rise is only less than two so there yeah. is a gap you know 1.1 percent is a gap there between the salary and the inflation so that's why people is the poor and poor day by day so we need as a marketer so we need to look around how we can satisfy them yeah how we can make the difference for them so that's why we need to look around the external factor very closely. We need to monitor them. <clears throat> okay, next is the technology. Technology yes. plays a significant role in hospitality industry, like a digital marketing, social media. So we need yes. to look around if we as an organization, we're not adopting the technology, how this will impact in investment, research and development. We need to be a new apps, you know, tracking systems and all you know because the technology is changing if we don't do it ourselves what will yeah. be happening you know, that we'll lose the money yeah so we need to be adjust our operations accordingly okay. so we'll do a bit quiz later on and uh, can do a bit research before next lesson yeah. like you know our uh, uh, when we'll go online we can uh, look around uh, uh, if we'll go on the world like type in the world bank data unemployment rate in uh, within the uk how much we have now our last two years that will help us you know to be make the future marketing plan okay yeah like education level so do a bit you know research yes as much you yeah. can and yeah. we can pick so like economic sector yes inflation yeah exchange rate against any country what is our taxation rate you know like political maybe we can find some factors there as well okay that will yeah. help us to be clear the concept okay next we'll today we'll go through the basic concept of marketing mix and the, then the following lessons will enhance it to nine p's so okay. initial marketing as a marketing student we should know you know what is the marketing mix marketing mix is sort of four piece yeah so that price promotion and place okay you make wonderful products is a really really good quality but you not charge the right price you charge very less price what will be happen what the people perception will be um that is not a good product yes it's... that's not a good quality of the product yeah. even is a good quality product, yes yeah so that's why in quite crucial the price we charge is a reflect you know is a good yeah. product okay yeah then place place where we'll sell it the price we are charging we need to look around the place where we are selling it it yeah. can be like you know the place in london or the central london or outskirt of london could be different prices yes yes yeah. So we need to be think about as well when we are selling product, where we are selling, home we are selling. Yeah. So we need to look around the promotion. It's quite crucial. That's fine. You have a wonderful product, but we are promoting in the social media are very low quality newspaper. Yeah. And those people may be not reading it. Paper, paper, maybe they have a different, they are reading, we are selling financial products. But yeah. we're not advertising or promoting the product in the financial. So we need to think about, yes, 
we yeah. are we have a hotel but we not promoting on the hotel or comparison websites mm -hmm. so we need to think about the product we have what sort of the promotion because you know maybe the customer is searching on the different search engine and we are promoting on the different yeah so we need to do a bit research about it and we need to reuse it accordingly so we need to look around so product the feature option style brand names packaging services all we need to decide it price okay. list of the prices which will go through the pricing strategies or techniques or what sort of the price you know like uh, skimming price high price low price different price behavior price different location or location price are the competitor price keeping in view of the competitor if they increase we increase if they don't increase we don't increase okay yeah so those sort of things we will go through the place where we're looking the location transport coverage channel of inventory where we are selling you know how much stock we required all sort of things we look under the plate and the promotion we look the advertising personal yeah. selling sales promotion and publicity how we could do promotion mix like we use the channel we do advertising we use the personal letters yeah and the personal yeah. selling doorstep sales you know those are things we look which will go through the following lesson more in detail the payment okay. are the each uh, next we look in the SWOT analysis SW is internal environment which is consists of strength and weaknesses yeah it could be as an individual we have a strength we have a weakness is our area of development normally we use the word for individual area of development we not use the word weakness so opportunities and threats that normally comes outside because opportunity is outside environment which is normally micro environment and threads come as well from outside you know new legislation we going outside brexit are staying inside brexit you know opportunities are set those are our un we can't control as an individual as an organization as well so we mm -hmm. need to match our strength and weaknesses with the external okay yeah uh, there are different sort of so when we are matching it so we make different strategies for it so like so this is the ideal situation we are strong we have a money we have a technical knowledge we have a skill there are plenty of jobs as well in the market that's yeah. the ideal situation is a strategy that use as a trend to maximize the opportunity because the opportunity is there the second could be a scenario where we are the weakness we yeah. not strong but outside is a plenty opportunity we don't have a skill there but what we can do we can improve our you know we can attend the course the the mini mini we are and we can try to be maxi maximize it our weaknesses so we we'll try to be overcome so we'll try to be max uh, maximize it yeah and then we have a strength and said maxi mini approach it could be we are maximum but there are the minimize so we need to be how we can do the threads to minimize maybe we'll get the insurance we'll make the partnership with somebody or we can hire someone those have a really really good you know area of expertise to minimize the threads those we have okay yeah so wt is a situation we are the weak we don't have a money we don't have a knowledge we just finish our course but there is a lot of competition you know many hotels there are many bars already open yeah have experience yeah. we don't have a money we can borrow the money from bank but there is a lot of threat they can drop the price we can't afford it to drop it what will be happen is a better to be avoid this type of is better to be not do the business yeah so the higher risk you know we are weak outside is a threat so that's not an ideal situation to okay, start own yeah. business so that give us an idea you know how we can do the so different strategies we can adopt or we can choose you know yeah. so SWOT analysis is quite popular approach we can use it for personal development workshop session brainstorming meeting or other problem solving so which any question uh, no questions so SWOT analysis we can i'm skipping 
today BCG metric, which we'll go through during our next lesson. Yeah. So and will join us as well. So BCG stand for Boston Consultant Group. Yeah. The company in um, in America, Boston. They gave the concept. That's a consultant company. That's they kept the name is a BCG Boston Consultant Group. They develop yeah. the model. Some product could be our star product. Some product could be question mark. Some product could be cash cows, and some product could be dogs. Okay. So in a marketing, we need to look around our how we can get if some product give us more market shares, some product give us less, which will go through more details in the next. Okay, I put it there how marketing are when we making marketing plan, we look in the mission, corporate objective, then we do market audit by like looking the past forces, sort analysis, and then we'll make all this. I put it there is a mission statement of us just yeah. and uh, so then we can reflect you know how these two and either they are meeting their uh, they are fixed or uh, they really focus on their and so then our one learning outcome one is all about is a, a digital marketing as well yeah. service industry so digital marketing what is the digital marketing why people are going online benefit of digital marketing we can discuss under what does the digital marketing consist of search engine optimization what is pay per click you know that's quite popular concept in digital marketing social my media marketing and digital yeah. marketing in the process of building and maintain customer relationship through online activity to generate sales or the capture the customer that's a searching online like now facebook you know even the advertising as well so digital marketing overview is a benefit of digital marketing put the consumer in the control provide the convenience drive brand loyalty all these you know the benefit of digital marketing the following lessons will discuss more in detail and we'll see you now how the company is using digital marketing to attract customers mm -hmm. and uh, the major purpose are five objective of digital marketing we need to be reach the right audience because so many companies advertise online how will reach the right right audience that's a bit you know how will engage with our audience through online digital marketing how will motivate them to attract yeah. them and how will ensure the efficient spending you know the money we are spending on the campaign online everybody is making apps you know how our apps could be useful so yeah. we need to look around we need to look around the return on investment how much money we are investing how much money we are generating through you know advertising online or digital marketing yeah <clears throat> so this will go through as well and the quiz if you yourself if you really want to do you know and if you want to play with it just okay. copy this link yeah and uh, a space you know So, like you know, paste there in the search box, and you can open the quiz. And then you can just just if and they, when you reach at the end, you know you can review it. Yes, how many okay. are right and wrong questions. So during our next lesson, then we'll go through proper you know the quizzes as well. Yeah. Uh, any questions? Uh, no questions. Okay, so do a bit research. There are two chartered institutes of marketing. One is yeah. called CIM. Yeah. And another is AMA. And the definition of marketing and digital marketing. Yes. Yeah. According to the two organizations, just do a bit research online. And during okay. our le next lesson, one is called Chartered Institute of Marketing, which is the biggest. It's a UK based Chartered Institute. Yes. AMA is called American Marketing Association, the second biggest. Okay. And they are offering specific qualifications about, you know, the in in area of marketing. Yes. Like, Omar, you become a chartered member with that. So uh, like we're doing hospitality qualification as well like a tourism hospitality which is OTHM so these are different
organization they define you know different definitions so when we'll do assignments so we can pick their definitions as well we can write and okay. we can discuss as well. okay so we'll today we'll focus up to here and uh, so today we'll really address you know what is uh, what is meant by marketing Mar marketing is more focused on the satisfying the customer needs and one selling yes. is a short term concept which is just a persuading we discuss yes. about external environment which is a past political economic and social and technological factor we need to look around we discuss swot analysis which is consist of internal and external environment as w so trends internal o and t is external and we discuss about digital marketing the role of digital marketing is significant increase and we'll do the research how many people using facebook so how many people using different other you know the tools are the search engines yeah and we'll try to link what is that fatality is mean the kindness and how the marketing can play the role you know how we can fulfill the uh, satisfy the needs and the wants of the clients yeah cool okay any question uh, no question. When's our next lesson going to be? Is it next week or is it in January? Uh, what I'll do, I'll drop you emails, you know, after checking with Raman, because yeah. it's supposed to be our lesson on the, uh, in January, likely, because, you know, I think so is a two weeks holiday. But yeah. I'll recheck, I'll drop you, because I'm not going to book the lesson until, you know, I will check. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if you during uh, holidays, if you have any question, you can drop me emails. I'll read your email. And uh, just you know, if you can work a bit, you know, on assignment, will yes. be great. So when you will be back, you know, at least your assignment will be complete. Yes, no problem. I'll work on that for you. Okay, brilliant. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank Hope so. I will see you again huh, before. Thank you. Have a nice Christmas oh. and a New Year. Thank you. Have a nice time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.